Now, going to the language part, do you believe that people are nowadays in modern times are, and there was another big subject in the community, and it, um, it, it's, it's going to sound silly, uh, it used to be, was the Egyptian language, Medu, was Meru Netcher ever really deciphered? <laughs> that was, that it was, has, one. it hasn't yeah. deciphered. The reason, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but it's, you know, it's hard. This language, let me tell you this the Egyptians never made their language easy. And mm. they did so on purpose because it is meant to be exclusionary. Right. It is meant to give 1% of the population all the power over 99% of the population. So if you have people creating conspiracy theories that Egyptian has never been translated and we still are making shit up and don't know what it means, <laughs> that's exactly the kind making of up, making up Making up vowels everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but that's exactly the kind of power this particular uh, language was meant to have. It right. is meant to be awe-inspiring. It is meant to be a shock and awe. Mm -hmm. So that when you look at it and you recognize individual signs, a foot, a hand, a sunset, mm -hmm. an animal, you're like, you can <laughs> figure it out, but you know you will never crack that code. It is not for you. And mm. the power in that language still works upon our minds today. Absolutely. Abs absolutely. Now, but yeah. speaking of that, I'll let you get you a little bit. Has it do you believe that the code has been cracked? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it was cracked by Jean-Francois Champollion. Because, Champollion. Right. Because, not because he was with able to get the phony Rosetta with that Stone. Book. Yeah. It's because he knew Coptic. That's why. That was the key. The Coptic was the key. Correct. It's not, Correct. oh, I looked at that phoneme and this phoneme and the Rosetta Stone. And yes, the Rosetta Stone helped him to figure out which signs were which. Right. But he already knew Egyptian. He already knew it. He knew Coptic. And those words, you can still use the Coptic word and link it to the ancient Egyptian word going all the way back. Yeah, and that's so, what I know. No. Yeah. So now, that was that. Right. And deciphered, yes. But to say that one is fluent in. Oh, yeah, Egypt you can't. All right, then. The dead language. <laughs> no, no one's speaking it. If people still spoke Coptic, mm. then then the answer would be yes, but people but don't people, speak. But people Here. do speak Coptic, though, in Egypt. There's over, well, you're talking about far as just liturgy, right? As far as yeah, in, liturgy. Okay. I mean, okay, and, and I have been corrected on this before and told, no, there are still villages where people speak Coptic. If those villages exist, they're being quickly lost. Mm. Um, and I've never been in a setting where people are speaking Coptic with each other. Right, um, right gotcha. There's people I'm that claim they do, but... Uh... No, I'm sure, but, but, you know, I'm not Egyptian. So if an Egyptian tells me this is the case, okay, I'm fine with that. <laughs> uh, 